Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Hello everyone, so let's continue implementing the mechanics to switch schema. So the next thing that we want to do is to create two input keys in order to do the switching. So let's go to the org framework and in the base control input keys we want to add two new keys so click add twice the first one we're going to name it to next and uppercase next schema the input origin is going to be unity input manager and this is going to be the right bumper RB we already mapped this in the unity input manager to the right bumper Xbox controller so let's go and click on the next one and let's call it previous schema and let's map it again to the input ori input origin is going to be a unity input manager and it's going to be this one the left bumper LB click on save close the editor or keep it somewhere else and now click on edit right to the bottom generate org constant so the reason I, I add the space in between the names is to have a underscore in the input keys click now on the battle manager to go to the script and let me make some room so this is on the battle tick again and let's work right after the logic to move the camera so in this place is where we are going to call or uh, monitor the inputs so let's click on e, uh, if statement org input keys get and we want to get our org input keys this is our constants and you can see here the list of constants we have so we want to call the next schema and that's the reason I add a space this is not enough we need to get the button get button there we go and inside this method uh, let's add the, the next one of course so we could just copy this block and put it right here and change the to the previous schema so what we want to do here is to track the index of the current schema that we are using so let's type current schema index sorry no index but position the position of the current schema is going to be the one from the schemata then we pass the current schema index and we get the position from the game object transfer dot position that we go. we need to do the same for the previous schema so it's a good idea just to extract this uh, line here and to its own method so I'm going to uh, click on control P control point or control dot and I want to extract method and let's call it update schema position uh, where is it there we go so now we just need to copy this method over here and we are not repeating the same code twice the next bit of code of course is to actually go to the next schema 
and to the previous one so what we are going to do is create a couple of methods so private void next schema and private void previous schema let's add or copy the method in the right place next and previous so in the next schema method we want to check if the current schema index is less than the schemata count minus one remember this is a list and we are checking uh, index uh, zero base index that's why we need to put an minus one there minus one there so if it's less than uh, the schema count then we just increase the index by one otherwise we wrap it up we clamp it to zero to index zero and this uh, as you can see this makes sense because we are set in the position of the current schema and then in the next method we are changing it so the next iteration uh, this index will change after making this uh, check about the index then is when we actually need to do the swapping or the switching of the schema I will call it swap schema and we need to pass the current index so let's make this method and let's put it below the previous schema okay so in the previous schema we need to do something similar but in this case we want to check if the current index schema index is greater than zero then we decrease the schema index by one otherwise current schema index is going to be to the schemata count minus one and here also we call the swap schema if Visual Studio let me and we pass here the current schema index there we go now let's uh, work on this swapping swap schema method so from the schemata list we need to grab the game object the combatant uh, that we have in this list by index passing the current index the current schema schema index and we check the game object transfer position and we set the combatant position to the current schema position that we set earlier of course we want this schema current schema index game object to set it active and we want to set this new combatant to be the game leader or the player leader so set leader and we pass again schemata current current schema index we need to pass the game object transform no sorry uh, just the game the combatant and it's asking us if we want to move the old leader back to the back of the list and I will say yes I do 
and the last thing we need to do is assign this new combatant to the Cinemachine target group so let's call Cinemachine target add member schemata current schema index and we need to pass the transform so transform and we need to set the same weight and the radius like before 1.5 alrighty so the next step now we are setting the current schema and to be the leader and set it active but we need to in set inactive the one that was previously so for this logic I'm going to do a switch statement to loop through the index that we are passing to the method so let's do a switch switch on current schema index and in here we are going to check first of all if is zero so if the index we are passing is index uh, is zero then we want to first of all remove from Cinemachine target group that member so instead of add member we want to remove member and this is going to be like uh, a bit of a, a hack in order to remove the, the current transform by index since we are passing zero this is the, the current schema we want so we need to remove one and index two one sorry index one and index two so let's do schemata index one dot game object transform let's copy paste this line and pass here index two so this is to remove the game object from the cinemachine target group the next thing we want to do is to set these two combatants to uh, active false the game object to set active to false so let's do that schemata one game object set active false copy the line and set it to the next index and finally we break the switch case and when we what we want to do is we could copy paste these two times for the other indexes so this is for index one we are passing index one so we want to remove index zero and two and the last one is case two so we want to remove index zero and index one and let's add the columns here there we go we can remove this default break And after doing all this switching, I'm going to add a little bit of a hack as well to um, solve a f an issue that I saw about the third person input from Invector getting disabled after um, doing some abilities attacks. So I'm, we are going just to make sure that the current schema, game object, uh, let's get the component of in vector 
V character controller V third person V third person input and set it enable to true so no matter what when we switch schemas we are enable the third person input let's save the change and let's go back to unity okay so let's click ctrl p to start the game and let's find jumper and if I click on my right bumper we switch to the next schema which is the yellow one if I click again in the right bumper we go to the last schema which is the blue one and I can loop from the right bumper and if I switch to the left bumper I go to the previous schema and this is working as expected of course we have this uh, mana bar or stat stamina bar ATB bar displayed because we set the HUD to be individual so we, we are going to remove remove it uh, next but um, the mechanic is working of course what we need now is to improve the target settings and also the schemas the yellow and the blue one they don't have uh, all of them they don't have uh, an ability as you can see the the blue one doesn't have the thunder ability or any other ability to to play with and what is left of course is to add some visual effects when we switch the schemas to get it more impressive So let's do these fixes on the next video. Thank you for watching.